What's up YouTube? Just wanted to get another video out today to YouTube uh, Have something going And uh, I want to go over my herbal apothecary cabinet Which is this I've been getting into herbal medicine because Obviously with the way things are going right now Not all medicine is going to be available uh, Every time we need it So I went ahead and found this and bought it uh, first thing I did was add some lights. So we'll go on. And you can see everything. Let me see if I can rotate this camera around. Perfect. I got two extra lights here. Just don't need them on. Alright, so first things first. Up here, got some red raspberry leaf. Stevia. I can't remember what that is. I made that myself. I'm pretty sure I have myself. And then uh, some chicory root, which I need to get a container to put that in. Um, yarrow. I've been using a lot of that. I actually have a couple more bags of it down there. Um, shepherd's purse. And this is yarrow extra virgin olive oil infusion. I mixed with that stuff. Set it, let it sit for like six weeks. Get some mugwort bundles in here. Down here, we got some other stuff I freeze dried like mint, oregano eucalyptus, here's some chamomile, and lavender, and some sage, and tarragon, and basil on the back further. Here's some powders I made, I freeze dried them and then blended them to a powder. Got kale, dandelion as you can see, lion's mane mushroom, beets, turmeric, and then ginger, which is back there. Down here, some little bags that I bought. And some ones that I freeze dried, the bigger ones I freeze dried, like fenugreek that you can see. And then I got some other little bags here from uh, Euphoric Herbal's Apothecary. It's a little place down in Milford, Delaware, kind of close by. And I uh, really like her store, it's really awesome. And then some marshmallow root, wild lettuce, like I guess another bag of yarrow, and another bag of shepherd's purse. And I ordered those from Mountain Rose Herbs. Can see real good quality stuff in there. Uh, here's some of my freeze drying bags, stuff that I have. Um, this is for putting the powders into the pills, so I can make some health pills and then smaller bags. This is a sealer, and then I got a little tray for making salves. I can pour them into the mold and have little squares of stuff. Down here, just got some jars and cannon supplies. But then you come up here, got a mortar and pestle. This is just a wooden one. I got a stone one somewhere, um, but not sure where the uh, pestle is for the stone one. But some books. I got the Book of Herbal Wisdom. This is a pretty good one. That was recommended by a friend. And then the one that I really love is. Encyclopedia of Herbal Medicine. This thing has so much information in it. It's insane. Um, like this, White Willow. It'll tell you, you know, pretty much everything about it. Ways to use it. What it helps. Just an example. And then this new one I just got today is the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. Um, I haven't really gotten into it that much, but I've heard really good things about it. So I keep all this stuff together. And uh, a little label maker so I can keep everything nice and organized and labeled. Um, I got some, uh, what you call it, plantain oil infusing right now. And that will go into this drawer or this cabinet after it's done, but it'll take about six weeks to do. And uh, it's good for a lot of stuff, like the mosquito bites. If you take some and grind it up, put it on a mosquito bite, it'll take the itch out of it almost instantly. Um, which is really good because my wife, she gets really bad mosquito bites. And that thing has been a godsend to her. It helps her take the itch out right away. Um, but just the way the state of the world is right now and, you know, shortages on everything else. And who, who knows what else has come. Um, it's good to have this type of knowledge and even though I'm still very new in it, obviously I don't have a ton of stuff in here, 
I'm going to keep getting more and uh, keep adding to it, keep reading the books, and uh, keep learning. And hopefully, you know, be able to treat a lot of things. I've already helped one friend who had appendicitis. Um, she was suffering. The doctors told her it'd be like four to six weeks before they get the surgery for her, which is crazy. And uh, I gave her some tea that I made mixed up that was anti-inflammatory. Um, because that's what it is, is the inflammation of the appendix. Um, what else did I go? Immune booster, because the appendix, they say, is part of the immune system. I did something for digestive health, since where the, yeah, the appendix is located. And then uh, just some, I, I know I added stevia to sweeten it up. And I tried some before I gave it to her, because I didn't want to give her something that tasted horrible, and it tasted pretty good. Um, not a huge herbal tea fan, but you know, in certain instances, I will go ahead and drink them. Um, but we got a bunch of herbal teas that we bought from another place called uh, King's Herb Milk in Pennsylvania, and uh, they make some pretty good teas. But you can also buy just raw ingredients. I think I got the red raspberry leaf and the stevia from them, and a shepherd's purse and a yarrow. I got all that from there. Um, but just real good information to have as far as, you know, if you're sick and you can't get to the doctor. I know a lot of times you try to call and make a new doctor's appointment and you're sick and you're not feeling well. And they go, well, we can see you in three months. What is good in three months? I'm going to be fine by three months, hopefully, unless I die. I'll either be fine or dead by the time that your doctor appointment opens up. So that's all crazy. I don't understand how they do that. Like, call a doctor, I'm sick now, I want to see somebody now, but, um, you know, this stuff, it will help, it's been, it's been used for years and years and years, um, you know, it doesn't take the place of, if your arm is missing, don't rub some essential oil on it, go to the hospital, because, obvious reasons, but, yeah, I'm happy with this, I've been looking for a cabinet for a while to get it all organized, and as soon as I saw this one, it was a Goodwill one, as soon as I saw it, I kind of fell in love with it and I had to have it. It was only 25 bucks, so, so it's not bad. And then I went, like I said, threw the lights in it. They're color changing, but I don't have really any need to change the color. Well, it does make it kind of look cool looking. Yeah, go festive. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's got a remote, too. Snazzy. That guy came back on. Um, but, yeah. So, that's it. Um, always try to expand your knowledge and learn something new and uh if you have any questions i'd be more than happy to try to help um and ask like i said i'm not certified or anything in herbal medicine but i am learning and trying to do my best on it so and like i said these books right here these three books alone um are a great help this one like i said i just got today didn't open it Alright, it's a good one. Aloe vera. And it has everything. Edible use, medicinal use, heartburn relief, bleeding, swollen gums, lowering blood sugar and diabetics, how to use it. So, like I said, this book is pretty cool. And then you can go to the very back and it has an appendix. So you can look up, you know, what anxiety, appetite stimulation, it'll go, you can go to that page to find out what you got or what can help. It's all sorts of them. And in the front, it lists all the herbs here. And like this book has stuff that this book doesn't have and this book has stuff that this doesn't have and this has stuff that this doesn't and vice versa and all, the, all around. That's why I have multiple books and if I keep coming across stuff that I need help with and I find a book that helps, I will buy that also. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I'm really happy with uh, my setup here. Um, I enjoy learning about the stuff. I enjoy being able to help people and, you know, also helps. Uh, another friend had fibroids and we made a yarrow. What it? Yarrow and shepherd's first bath. And she took a bath in that and couple times not just one time and she used that and then the yarrow oil 
You can rub on your stomach and yarrow will actually penetrate the skin and go to where it needs to go. It's kind of like a, a smart oil, <laughs> so to speak. But uh, it'll go to where it needs to go. And she used that and all these things and it really helped with the uh, symptoms of the fibroids, so, so to speak. Um, what else do we got? Nettle leaf right here. And nettle leaf is said to uh, reduce um, allergy symptoms. Birch bark, I got that because I want to try make like a tea or something out of it and see if there's a good flavor to it. Elderberries are great for uh, immune si support. There's a couple of these that I'm still not 100% sure what I do with them, but uh, I'm learning and I know I wanted them. It's just parsley. That's important. Slippery elm. That's good for uh, indigestion and sore throats and all sorts of stuff. Because uh, it has a... What do they call it? It almost forms like a slime. Mucilogenic. That's what it is. And uh, it kind of forms like a slime and coats your throat. Not in a gross way. And it'll coat your esophagus to prevent heartburn. So if it you know, comes back up, it's not going to burn your your throat. Liquors, that's the same stuff they actually made the old time candy out of. And it doesn't taste like black licorice. It's got more of a, a sweeter flavor to it. Got some mugwort. Like high sop. I can't remember what high sop is, but I know I wanted some. I think it was in a tea that my wife wanted and I had to remake it for. And mullein leaf, you can actually smoke that if you have a, um, it kind of, sounds kind of intuitive, but if you have like a, uh, lung condition or a cold or something in your lungs you can actually smoke that and it'll go into your lungs and help out with that lemon zest definitely for flavor experiment experiment and then what else do we got more spinach more spinach and lemongrass in the very back there um the lavender that smells really good so does the eucalyptus Chamomile is for teas. It'll uh, induce, well, help you go to sleep. It'll kind of calm everything down. And then the dandelion powder. I was making some pills out of that for my wife because it has a lot of properties that dandelion has. It's just the leaves. Um, but dandelion leaves have so much health properties that I wanted her to be able to take it to help with some symptoms that she was having. And uh, she did. I think I still have some of those pills left over. Somewhere. And then the lion's mane. That mushroom has a lot of health benefits as well. Same with the beets. And then put this stuff right here. They say wild lettuce. I have no idea, but they say that it can act as a painkiller if you use it right. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. Then turmeric is great. It'll, blood, it'll thin your blood. So, you gotta be careful if uh, certain contraindications that you have will not want to have thin blood. Like I said, we've got red raspberry leaf and just look at room. But I think that's all kind of rambling on. But like I said, my, my knowledge is very limited still. And uh, keep learning. And uh, if you saw my living room, yes, it's a mess. Kids just got home. So, they kind of threw the book bags off and then ran away. But, anyways, that's going to be it for now. So, signing out, and I'll see y'all later.